or someone. Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about the new trailer for Episode 16, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this trailer is amazing. It teases so much, there's so much to theorize about. Also, please be sure before we start this video, go check out my review for last episode. I uploaded it like quite early, so I'm guessing some of you missed it. So that will be on my channel or in the description below. You can find it on my channel nevertheless. So the first shot of the trailer is of Nora and her journal. She's flicking through and according to the dialogue, it says, well, Nora specifically says, this is it. The last confrontation and Barry says, what are you talking about? And then Nora goes on to say, today's the day you stop Cicada. So what did she just say? That is crazy. So like I said, she's looking through her journal. She's sort of frantically doing it. So I think maybe she's trying to get some information and Barry has this face of shock in the next shot and he's a bit confused. And I think the reason what could be happening is, and this is strictly theorizing, Maybe Nora actually knew about this but never said it, but maybe that actual scene in the future, you know, when we were inside Nora's head, it was more so her memories saying that they never stop Cicada, and so maybe Cicada is stopped and maybe Nora does secretly know that, or I think the more likely thing is the timeline has changed due to Thorne's help and they've slowly molded the timeline so there is in fact a way to defeat Cicada because I do believe Thorne is very much so afraid of Cicada and that's probably the reason why he is working or at least one of the reasons why he is working with Nora and so that is so exciting so today's the day you stop Cicada so she has this information or it could be perhaps like a throwaway line that is Today's the day you stop Cicada because, you know, you can do it or something like that. I don't know. But that's very interesting, nevertheless. Alright, so moving on to the next shot, we see Cicada as he's confronting Barry. And most of these fights look like they're actually taking place in Star Lab. So, potentially with the end of last episode when they say they're going to invite Cicada to actually take the cure... So I'm guessing he probably is invited to come to the Star Labs. He comes to Star Labs and everything breaks loose and things go to the fan and things essentially go to shit. And so, yeah, he's, you know, full of pure rage as he stabs just to the side of Barry's head. He sort of pins him up to the wall and this looks like it is again in Star Labs. And then we go over to Nora and this is the shot where she says... Today's the day you stop Cicada. And moving on from that, we get this shot. I believe it's of Iris. I can't really see because it's kind of pixelated. But they're getting guns out. And I'm guessing this is, you know, to protect the fortress, to protect Star Labs. And this same shot with very similar lighting. So I'm guessing it's in a very similar scene. So like maybe right after it. But you see Joe with his gun out. He's pointing at someone. And you see Barry all suited up. And yeah, I believe this is definitely Cicada in this confrontation. Because the next shot, you see Cicada in that very same room in the Cortex. And he's facing off against Barry. And something really weird happens in the trailer. So I don't know if it's an editing thing. But things are really kind of sped up in this one scene. Or he's getting hit by someone like Invisible. Or someone that's not that. I don't know. But... He quickly, like rapidly quickly moves his head to the side. He sort of flicks it to the side and his arms are, you know, in a different position. It's kind of weird. I don't know what's going on there, but that's a bit peculiar. Maybe something actually happens there or maybe that's Grant literally just flicking his neck really fast. All right, so moving on to the next shot. This is a really intriguing shot. I saw some people online theorizing this could be Godspeed, but we'll talk about Godspeed later in this video because I believe he could come this episode and we'll talk about why. But no, I think this is definitely Cicada's dagger because it's a very similar effect as to when he places his dagger on the ground when he, you know, hits it in the ground or when he has it. And so it seems like Norris just pinned up to the wall due to this massive surge of power around her and she drops to the ground when it stops so i'm guessing maybe cicada's been hit over the head maybe he's been stabbed maybe he's been shot i don't know maybe 
Barry's just punched him down, I don't know, but his sort of dampening powers have been stopped right there. And so now we get to the most interesting part of the trailer. I can't wait for this scene because I don't know what's going on. So you have to remember the timeline is malleable, things have changed presumably with the help of Thorn, and so he's been helping moulding things, but we haven't seen any effects to the future, and I think this is where potentially Godspeed might come in. So Thorn says, something is struggling to break through, or someone. So Godspeed, he has a more sort of demonic, monster-like figure like Zoom, because if you remember back to season two, people for ages were like, is Zoom actually human or not? And Godspeed pulls off that very similar effect. He is very demonic-like. So I'm guessing it could be that. And the fact that he says something is struggling to break through. And then he says, or someone, he's confused. And I don't think he would be confused by if Cicada was breaking through or something like that. And I don't see why Cicada in the future would be attacking. Because... I don't know, it just doesn't make much sense, but so on the screen in the next shot, there is tons of symbols and these symbols are very important, but obviously we can't decipher it with our own eyes, but could it be a warning from, I don't know, the timeline from the Speed Force or, you know, some sort of warning that they've had, whether it be that maybe someone has breached in or someone's time traveled in and they've got a warning and this person or something trying to break through is actually warned on the screen and so the fact that it says breaking through makes me suggest well sort of suggest why would it be cicada cicada could just walk through the door kill a load of people he doesn't need to break through anything and so I believe that this could be Godspeed and there's little sort of hints of lightning throughout this trailer which I find very interesting sort of yellow lightning I know it could be Barry but it's very very kind of perfect and it's all lining up because this is episode 16 and we have episode 18 coming up very soon and we know Godspeed is going to be in the future he's going to be fighting Nora whether it's a sort of present day version of Nora or in the past he's going to be in the future so that's really intriguing to see and maybe this version of Nora's from the future actually I don't know about that but I believe it could be Godspeed they could set it up with just one scene you know leave it out of episode 17 and then go to episode 18 you're like oh my god Godspeed is here I think it's a perfect chance and I think what Thorn is saying definitely teases more towards potentially Godspeed finally arriving rather than say a cicada breaking through the prison to where he is I don't know but he seems very scared and I do think Thorn is actually scared of cicada but if it was Godspeed and you know Thorn doesn't have his powers that would be really intriguing and you would probably associate breaking through of someone that's literally going through walls and who can speedsters can alright so let's move on to the next shot we see Inside Star Labs, this is sort of the new place where they always go recently. And I believe, as far as I can tell, it's kind of hard to see. We see Cecile, we see Nora, and we see Sherlock. And they are all sitting down, and there's this flash of lightning, which is, like I said, very interesting. It's very kind of yellowy rather than orangey. So I don't know if that's me going crazy or not, but I think it could be hinting. And we see this same sort of flash of lightning, this yellow flash of lightning, and it's in front of Joe in the cortex or in one of the labs, whatever. So, very, very curious. And so, we go back, and this is back at the same place where we were before on the news set, and we see Cecile, Sherlock, and Nora all sort of scrambling, and Nora's wearing that same shirt. T pay attention to that, because I think that's going to sort of tell you the timeline of the entire episode with her clothing changes and then Barry goes on to say in this next shot we have to move and this is to do with the break-in from Cicada that you see as Sherlock clicks the button and you see Cicada breaking through and Nora and Sherlock are knocked to the ground or it's just some sort of reaction because you know they didn't expect it and Sherlock gets up in this last shot and he sort of is like very startled at this point. And so 
According to Danielle Panabaker, just the last thing before we end this video, there is going to be a very big moment at the end of this episode, and so what can we theorize this could be? I think there's two sort of definitive answers. We know they're going to try and apply the metahuman cure to Cicada in this episode, so is Cicada defeated? Is that the big sort of twist and big moment in the episode, or is it that Cicada dies? I don't know, but the other option is Godspeed finally arrives, and that is the big moment. I think Eva Raw is massive. So, I don't personally see Cicada going past this episode, and this trailer definitely hints at he's not, but it could be misleading. So, right now, I would say we're unsure about Cicada, you know, his status, is he gonna stay any further? There is quite a lot of sort of missing links that they haven't wrapped up yet, so I wonder if he's gonna stay a bit longer. I personally think he's about done by now, and I like him but he's sort of not the same level as like even like a Savitar in my opinion. Definitely nowhere near Reverse Flash or Zoom. He's over the thinker. Yeah, that's what I think. But yeah, I think Godspeed could be arriving in this episode and I think there's a lot to look forward to, especially that 2049 scene because we know in episode 18 they're going to spend most of the episode in 2049 and I believe in episode 17 it's the episode where Barry finds out about Reverse Flash and Nora working together, so that is utterly intriguing. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and please be sure to leave a like and a comment, turn on notifications, and subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.